Hello everybody and welcome again to the Dr. Lerias World Channel. So for this part of the video tutorial we are going to talk about how to use the official GPU light mass in Unreal Engine. And like always if you like, if you are enjoying please give me a like, subscribe to this channel and let's start with the party. And here we are again with our interior scene and we are going to see how to work with the official method of GPU light mass in Unreal Engine. So we are here in Unreal Engine with our scene in a lead mode and let's check it in lead mode. And as you can see, we are not using begging lights right now. And I want to show you how to enable the GPU light mask. So go to settings, plugins, and here, let's find for GPU. You got it here, GPU light mask. So let's enable this one. And you need to restart the Unreal Engine editor. But before restarting, we go again and to project settings and and we find here virtual textures. Okay, so you need to check these parameters. This one, okay, and this one also for light maps. Okay, and this takes maybe a long time to restart because uh, Unreal needs to compile the shaders again. And also, after checking the virtual textures, you lose your baggy light maps. And here I have my GPU light mask. And here you can see also our build lighting button. But we will talk about the parameters here. Look at this, show progress bars. This will show a lot of progress bars in your thing during your build lighting progress. Here you have two modes, uh, full bake or bake what you see. The full bake works with the fullest thing. And the mode bake what you see will work with the parts you are looking in your viewport. We have also the noiser here and we have three options. The first one is disabled, the second one is the noise on completion and the third one is during interactive preview. Also we have here our global illumination with some parameters like geo samples, stationary like uh, shadow samples and use irradiance catching and also this one use first one for ray guiding. I want to tell you also that I'm working with the same thing and with the same parameters in our light map density. Now look at this here, we are building our lighting and we are working also in a slow mode. This is important also, so let's go to this button in your viewport and let's check real time. Okay, now we are not working in real time, but we are giving the full process of our GPU to the building lighted process. Also, you can move around this thing like that and you see how it's changing. So like that, you can force your preview, but this also is still in some performance of your GPU. So the best thing you can do while you are building your lighting, keep quiet and let this mode with real time and check it. Okay, it's done our baking lighting process. So let's check again the real time mode. Now we can see here our light map finished. So we start this build lighting process with the default parameters, and of course, we need to set some of these parameters. So we go to lighting only mode and let's check our light maps. Generally, it's working great. Maybe some, some issues here, some mistakes. Okay, here it's working well. Okay, in this sofa, maybe we have some issues. This is maybe about the UVs in this sofa. Okay, you can see here some mistakes in our light map UV. So maybe we need to go to our 3D modeling software and check it again. We can check it also in the mesh properties in Unreal Engine. Look at this. Okay, this light map is not correct also. But right now, I don't care about it. So in global terms, it's well done, maybe some mistakes, but I'm pretty sure that we can fix it uh, tweaking some parameters in our global illumination. So in this case, I need to tell you also that this build lighting process takes like uh, six minutes more or less. As I told you, we have here all of our parameters, we can check it. So we're going to check some parameters and we're going to try again. I've tried in this case lower down some parameters, but it's working also good. Look at this, everything's working good. 
Maybe we had the problem with this sofa, but this is what I want to tell you this maybe about the UVs. But we can try tweaking more parameters. If you stop with your mouse cursor for a couple of seconds in each parameter, you can see in a small description. For example, here, use eroding sketching. Simply say that uh, you need to check it for interior thing, and also if you don't have it checked, you could have a darker thing. And also, it's recommended to uncheck for exterior things. And also, the use first bone right guiding. This is telling us more or less the same that it's recommending for interior thing. And for example, you have here your trial samples. And what we're gonna do is set some parameters and check it again. And finally, we have here again, I decide to use uh, more quality and more high values for some parameters like gear samples. Also the quality in the eroded sketching. And now everything is correct. You can see that our light map is more clean. Maybe some little issues. Finally, I can tell you that this is working really good. Maybe we can tweak more parameters. And also this build lighting process takes 30 minutes and working with just one GPU. So like now I'm really happy with it. And now we are at the end of this video tutorial and we have seen the two methods and the question is what is the best? Working with Luos and GPU Light Maps, it's really easy to use, it offers a really great quality and you need to set a few parameters. But also we don't have a preview in real time and this is something really great in the official method. The new GPU Light Maps system implemented in the last version is really powerful. And of course you need to check more parameters but the preview in real time is really awesome. In my case I'm working with both. I use the official method for working in real time and for the final in a render I use Luos 1 GPU light mask. I hope you like it and I hope you understand how to work with these methods of vehicle lighting. And like always if you like, if you enjoy, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in the next video tutorial. Bye bye!